I love my big sister. Give me a high five, Patrick. Yay! <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm excited to be back again and my favorite role is Ashley's big brother. Isn't that right, Ashley? My job tonight is to share with you some perspective on my sweetest sister. Um, please don't tell Elizabeth I said that. Over the past year, I've been blown away by how much Ashley has to say. Yes, she can't use her actual voice to share her thoughts, but she has very strong opinions. This shouldn't be surprising because she is kind of like all the other girls in my house. So here are a few examples to help you better understand how she brings her voice alive. First, like most 10 year old girls, Ashley likes to choose what she wears. Sometimes my mom can't find anything she likes in her closet. I guess that's normal because I don't like what my mom picks either. Second, she doesn't like to be interrupted when she's watching her favorite movies. So when Elizabeth and I are fighting, I mean playing in the kitchen, Ashley uses her eye gaze device to tell us to stop. My dad is always surprised how quickly we respond to Ashley when she says stop. Maybe it is because we don't listen so well when mom and dad say stop. Third, Ashley hates it when my mom travels. For a while, she refused to do her work with her reading teacher when mom was gone. We knew she was mad because she gave mom the cold shoulder when she came home. Ashley and her teacher talked about why she was protesting. They worked through it, and during the very next session, Ashley worked super hard. Afterwards, she told her teacher on the, her eye gaze device, No, Mom. Good work. Fourth, my sister loves her teachers. She has her own aide at school that stays with her all day. On the last day of school, Ashley told her aide that she was going to miss her. Twice. Then there is Miss Susan, who teaches Ashley to read and write. Because of Miss Susan, Ashley has learned how to do amazing things, such as write the main ideas of stories that she's read and give Susan the details around pollution and evaporation. Sometimes Ashley just doesn't feel like working. I see you, Ashley. Recently, after one of those days, Miss Susan told my mom about it. Let's just say mom had a talk with Ashley later that evening. Well, the next day, the first thing Ashley told Susan during their session was, I learned to not mess with you. She's funny. This summer we went to Switzerland because of Ashley's seizures. We had a never been out of the country as a family before. We had the best time. Here are some pictures of Ashley enjoying herself. When she got home, she told Miss Susan all about the trip, that she went on an airplane, and that she missed doing her work while she was gone. I hope these stories help you understand that my sister is really smart, really loving, and really interested in the world around her. It made me so sad last year when Ashley broke her arm just before Thanksgiving. The urgent care didn't catch it, so we didn't know it was actually broken until over a week later when Mom and Dad took her to see the doctor just to make sure she was okay. That's so unfair to her. We are so close to finding a cure for Rett syndrome. Thank you for coming tonight and helping us get even closer. Will you help me find my sister's voice? I'll make it super easy for you. Here's the QR code. Let's do this. Thank you. Ashley.